Hello guys, my name is Irene. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a little tarantula collection tour. Some of you might have seen some of the tarantulas already, so please bear with me on that. So I'm going to do a final count of how many tarantulas that I actually have at the end of the video because a um, few of my spiralings actually passed away. I do not know the reason why I gave it food and water, um, but one day I just found it all curled up in the corner and it was just gone and I can't really do anything about it. But let's get into the video. So the first one I want to show you is my Arizona blonde. Her name is Hazel. I don't think I want to handle her because her butt is quite big and I do not want to risk her falling off my hand since I'm still a beginner and I don't want to risk it until I feel more experienced. As you can see, she is really, really pretty. She is around um, like a solid good four inches. And I think this is a pretty beginner friendly tarantula as well. They are really docile, but her name is Hazel and she's a pretty girl. I believe some of you have seen this little girl before. She is my Brachypelma homori. Her butt is pretty fat right now, but she already got some adult colorations, which is pretty cool. So in general, she is really docile, but she does flick hairs. But you see how her abdomen is a little bold. But when I unbox her, she's actually already like this, and she flick hair randomly just once while I was like walking by her tank. So I guess like she saw my shadow, got spooked out. I don't mind if you take a little walk on my hand. You're super pretty. <laughs> so the next one that I want to show you is my jumping spider. She actually has an egg sac right back here, if you guys can see that. So when I first bought her, I didn't know that she was wild caught. I did not mate her with another male jumping spider. Like, she just laid this egg sac on her own. Like, I just assumed when I bought her from the seller, it's gonna be captive bred. But no, I didn't ask. I just assumed, which is one of my mistakes. And this is actually her second egg sac. For the first egg sac that she laid, I contacted the seller. I was like, Do you want a jumping spider egg sac? Because um, the jumping spider I bought from you, like, she's laying an egg sac and I do not have the time and space to care for them. And the seller was like, Yeah, okay, sure, I'll take it. And then two weeks later, she laid another sack, which is this sack that you're seeing right now. And she's looking at me, and, and I feel kind of bad for giving away your babies, but it's for the better good, because I cannot, I just, I can't, I do not have the time and space for that, I'm sorry. And this next one that I want to show you is my G Conception, Grandma Stola Conception. If you look closely, you might think that it's a Grandma Stola Rosea, but it's not. Um, they are really similar. I, I do not know what is the major difference between the two species. Like, I am still a beginner, but she looks gorgeous regardless. And I haven't handled her, and I really want to try doing that. Oh, she is so gentle. I haven't thought of a name for her yet. I am pretty bad with names because if I want to give them a name, I want it to be a really good name. And I think I showed you guys multiple times. This is my C. elegant, my heart butt tarantula. Alright, I'll let you go, I'll let you go, okay? And this is my Seri Cosmos Stellatus enclosure. She is always in this little hide. I do not know if she will come out. 
You can kind of see she has an orange patch on her butt, but it's actually a heart. I'll just like post a picture or something because she's just impossible to see. So this is my Trinidad Olive enclosure. And she is out today, which is a pretty rare sight. I do not really get to see her out maybe at night, like 3 or 4 a.m. Oh no, oh no, where's she going? Where's she going? But as you can see, she is really pretty. But she is also very skittish and fast. When I unboxed her, she gave me a heart attack by bolting everywhere. She wants to go back to her home. And this is my little grandma Stella Polkros enclosure. I showed him before in my feeding video. He is right there. I do believe that he could be a male because I didn't see any flap when I was checking his moat. But I'll check again next time he molts. And next one that we have is my little GBB. She is pretty plump right now after I fed her. She is a crazy hair kicker if I get anywhere near her. I'm not really near her right now so she's okay. But I'm surprised she hasn't moved an inch. Bye. So those are my bigger tarantulas. Right now I'm going to show you all my slings. So these two are my Grandma Stola Poker Peas, Choco golden -y. They are really small. This one is bigger, but you can't see it's in the hide. But this one I can show you. It's right there hanging on the wall being shy. I have noticed my G Poker Pea slings like to do that, like hanging on the wall. I haven't noticed other species with the same behavior, but it's interesting. They are terrestrial, so I do not know why they like to be on the wall. And this one is my curly hair tarantula. He is actually pretty shy right now. He has one hair flicker, and I think this is a male. You can probably see the grayish colors on its limb. It's not solid black um, because he just molted about three days ago. So he hasn't eaten anything yet and he is really grumpy. I am not trying to go near him because he will flick hair. And I also have two small E. Campistratus, Pixie Red Beauty. I'm about to rehouse her because she is getting quite big but that's her little leg that's all we get to see oh and her face a little bit so speaking of g rosea I sh the one i showed you guys earlier it was g conception i do have two g rosea slings this one you're not going to see because it burrowed all the way down there but this one we can he is right there the abdomen is pretty plump already she hasn't ate anything like since four months ago and her stomach has been this big for a while. I don't know what she's doing. She's been in pre molt forever. She's not molting. She's not eating. I spray water down her um, enclosure and I don't ever see her drink it. But I guess that's just what Tarantula does. And I don't know how long that I have to wait for her to grow up either. <laughs> So for the extra tiny slings, I'm just going to quickly show you what I have. So these are the three I'm going to show you next. They are all the same thing. This is the D. diamantinensis, Brazilian blue dwarf tarantula. I'm just going to show you one of them because um, all of them are pretty hard to see. They're tiny. They like to wet everything up. This one is like hanging over here next to the water dish. I gave it a pretty good hide, but he wouldn't use it, and that's where he stays. And this is my uh, heart butt tarantula, Sir Cosmos Elegant. This was featured in my last feeding video, which he gave us a pretty good takedown. I will try to poke it out a little bit, maybe it will come out. I'm not exactly sure where he is. Oh, never mind. It's like right there in the lower burrow. 
And you can see it's hard, but already when he has such a small size, it's so cool. When I'm saying he, I'm just saying randomly he or she. I don't know the gender yet. It is unsexed. And this is the next one that I want to show you, Hapalopus species Columbia pumpkin patch. It is right there. Very small size. They get about like three or four inches if it's a female, two inches for male. It is crazy. It has uh, some colorations already when it's like a um, little sling like this. And this one is my Davis Pentalorus enclosure. This little one likes to web a lot. Um. It doesn't usually come out, but it is right there if you can see its little legs. That's all we get today. And this one is my Sea Darlingies enclosure. I do not know why she likes hanging up on the wall whenever I'm not touching her enclosure, but now oh, she goes back in. So we get to see the little tunnel that she built. I like clear enclosures so I can know what my spiderlings are doing. So there's two entrances here and here. And she is somewhere around here. If you can see her, that's her foot. And this one is my NNC. I do have an adult female already, but this is like another one. I hope it's a male so I can pair it with my female when it matures. So this is my T. Verdesi. Um, I believe um the common name is probably Mexican Grey Rose or something. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, he is right here. And this is my very skittish and Balfouri. Uh, he's like hanging here. Actually, I don't know the gender yet. Um, when I bought it from the seller, they said it's a suspect female. I will have to check in my next molt. And this one is my Kuchiana Brunapis, like right there. <laughs> I never see this girl out of its tunnel. It's just always like under it. But we can see her moving around a little bit. And this one is my uh, Mexican Orange Beauty. This is the scientific name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's Bracky Pelma something. And he's right here. Very chill little spider. Doesn't even move an inch when I move the enclosure around. So these are the three that I'm not going to show you the actual spider because there is no way to see them. They're like burrowed all the way down there. So this is my Aymira Bluefoot Baboon. These little tarantulas, they make a trapdoor, which is featured in my last feeding video. If you want to see that, um, you can go check it out. And this one is my little OBT, which is in the slow skull. He made a n little nest in the skull, which is pretty cool, but I never get to see it out. And this one is my Tanzanian chestnut baboon. He is in this little burrow here, which again, I never see him out, like ever. Oh, but you can see he kind of threw an old molt outside of his burrow, which is pretty cool. I know he molted then. Oh, and this is a scientific name that I don't know how to pronounce. So these are the last four that I want to show you. These are all my Avix. These two are my Elicuveria jurensis. I am hoping to get a female, so I bought two of these. It is right there. And this one is my Lucuveria Miniatris. I only have one. I was really hoping to get more of these, but this is the last one the seller had. So if you guys didn't realize already, I really like dwarf tarantula. And I really wanted a dwarf and arboreal tarantula combined together. This is uh, one of them. And the other one that I can think about is the T. Celadonia. And this one is my Carabina Versi Colors enclosure. I don't think you guys can see. Like, it is in there. Um, but it has a really cool enclosure. I gave it such a nice little tree. But he, he just always hang down here. <laughs> 
So if you watch until the end of the video, thank you so much. I know it's quite a long video because I'm trying to show all my tarantulas. I have another video coming up about me picking up some new spiders locally from Tom Patterson. So please stay tuned for that video and I will see you next week.